ice, free rain, and bone chilling temperatures. A bad mix all day long, and it's not over yet. If you don't have to go out, do not go out because it is cold and it is nasty out there. Just a miserable day today for commuters with the roads a mess, fender benders all over the place, and many airline flights canceled. We have team coverage beginning now with Robbie Chavez, who's out braving that bitter cold. Robbie, how are you holding up? Well, Kaidi, it sure is nasty out here. Conditions have just gotten drastically worse within the last hour as the latest batch of freezing rain and sleet has started to fall. Almost ice pellets falling from the sky now, but still several drivers on the roadways tonight, though they do appear to be extra cautious, driving just a little bit slower from time to time. You see those brake lights going on, and also they seem to be staying in their lanes so they don't slide off the roadways. During much of the commute this afternoon, the roadways appeared mostly clear and very few accidents were reported, but just within the last few minutes, we've noticed the road conditions have changed and they have started to glaze over. That is all expected to change as we now expect an ice storm. The second wintry blast in a week came a one-two punch, spitting out every kind of wet precipitation possible. For nearly 24 hours now, roads like Route 17 south of Paramus have been treacherous. The roads seem to be okay if you're going very slow. I didn't want to try it last night, so I stayed here um, because there was a lot of ice. If it turns out to be ice, I'm just going to pull over to the side. Mm -hmm. In Connecticut, it was much of the same. It's a deceptive trek out anywhere you go. It may look like just a little snow on the roadways, but underneath in many areas is a slippery sheet of ice. As the second wave of freezing rain fell tonight, an army of road crews equipped with salt and plows found themselves trying to keep up with the continuous freezing rain, sleet, and snow. For homeowners with shovels in hand, the path to the front door has never seemed longer. It's not that hard if you take it easy and a little bit at a time. So this is the second time or third time I'm doing it, so it's easy. With wind chills in the tri-state area as low as 33 below in some places, this man's small scarf in Manhattan is no match for the blistery breath of winter's gusty winds. In this kind of weather, hypothermia can happen before you know it. It's why many decided to head home early. It's not that bad. It's, it's not that bad. Driver? The other drivers are going pretty slowly, carefully, which is nice. Pretty careful. Predicted ice accumulations may eventually pose a problem for power lines, which up until now were safe, other than this one plowed by a snow plow. Power crews are prepared for wires to start snapping. It could pose some problems on the, uh, with the uh, ice forming on the wires and uh, them maybe arcing over or just getting real heavy and, and falling down. Now, we've traveled along uh, much of the roadways here in New Jersey along Route 17, and uh, we didn't uh, discover any real big ice patches, though, as I said, as the uh, rain and freezing uh, sleet uh, started to fall within the last hour or so, we've noticed some accumulations on the road, so it's a lot wetter out there, and the roads are glazing over, and as the night goes on and it gets colder and the temperature drops, officials expect conditions in the morning for the morning commute to be a whole lot worse. We're live tonight along Route 17 in near Paramus, New Jersey. I'm Robbie Chavez for the WB11 News at 10. Now back to Jim.